we're going to launch a weather balloon that we do here twice a day. Uh, weather balloons are launched at about 100 sites around the country and really all over the world. Everyone around the world agrees to send them up around midnight and noon Greenwich Mean Time. That way, at, any, at twice a day, we can get kind of a snapshot of what's going on over the entire atmosphere, over the entire world. Attached to each balloon is an instrument package that measures temperature, relative humidity, pressure, and has a GPS tracker that can uh, infer the wind speed. The balloon goes up about 25 miles into the air. Uh, it gets to almost the very top of the atmosphere. And as it does, the pressure decreases, so it'll expand from about six feet to the surface to about 25 feet across when it, uh, when it explodes. Uh, it takes about two hours to get from the surface up to that top height. And uh, the wind will blow it, depending on the day, in a number of directions. Usually our balloons, once they pop, will end up in either the Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico. It can go up to over 100 miles away, uh, especially when it lands, it could drift even further away from where it bursts at. It sends back data uh, about every two tenths of a second. Uh, we track it with a uh, antenna here at the surface that can follow along as it moves up and down and uh, moves from side to side. Uh, that data will bring in uh, temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind speed and direction. From that, we calculate a lot of other more technical variables. Other than the rain happening right when I wanted to launch, uh, this was a pretty smooth release. Uh, we're trying to sample everything from what's happening on the ground to what's happening each level of the atmosphere up to the very top. I'll continue to monitor the data over the next couple hours as uh, it goes up each level through the atmosphere. Once it's finished, I'll send the data off to a couple agencies. One of them, the National Center for Envi Environmental Prediction, uh, they they're the ones that run all the computer models for the, for the United States. So really we say the weather balloon data provides a backbone of data for the National Weather Service. That everything uh, from long range computer forecasts to uh, thunderstorm potentials is derived from what we get from weather balloons.